And with major school districts like Hillsboro now requiring a medical excuse to opt out of face coverings, what actually constitutes a valid exemption for it? And what's the plan to actually verify whether forms submitted are legit? Tentiva Bay's Eric Glasser is looking into it. Just as Hillsborough School's mask mandate started today. We are fully booked out for the next three months. Some pediatricians, respiratory and family doctors started fielding requests for an exam or medical exemption letter, allowing some students to opt out of it. They don't want their children to have to wear a mask because they feel like there's a problem with that mask. The issue, say physicians, is that reasons for an exemption are hard to come by. Medically, probably one of the only ones I could think of would be an intellectual or a uh, physical disability that would prevent you from being able to properly wear a mask. Other than that, you know, they're really few and far between. If they're uncomfortable, try a different mask. There are so many nice ones out there that, uh, that fit comfortably. To remain consistent, the Hillsborough School Board adopted the same language regarding face coverings and medical excuses as it did last year on its medical exemption form. Submit this form and medical documentation to your child's school. District staff will validate all medical certifications. Even with that validation, some parents have concerns, pointing to a school district near Sacramento, California. There, nearly 85% of medical mask exemption forms came from the same doctor. Board members who raised similar concerns were told, while possible, the scenario is unlikely. Many of the Florida pediatricians um, feel strongly to not sign those waivers unless there is a true medical uh, reason. In Hillsborough, parents or guardians were given a two day grace period to get a medical exemption. It's still not yet clear how many will obtain one. Also, it's hard to compare with last year, although masks were mandated for all students, many were distance learning at home, an option not available this year. Now, Hillsborough Schools says it had a total of 59 medical exemptions for those face masks during the entire 2020-21 school year. Pediatricians are concerned about the number of kids needing treatment for COVID-19 and other infections like RSV. That's why Dr. Joseph Perno shared this insight that regardless of a mask mandate, parents need to make sure that their kids are protected. Be smarter than the teachers, be smarter than the, the supervisors, be smarter than our government officials. You know what's best for your child, and what's best for your child is to put a mask on them if they're going to be in indoor activities, and if they're eligible, get a vaccine, and if you're eligible, get a vaccine. We need to protect everybody around our most vulnerable patients.